Hi everyone, this is a tutorial video. This is for EVE Online, and this is going to be on how to scan or probe moons. Moon mining is used to make Tech 2 modules and parts and components. can give you a lot of profit. And I already have one that I've scanned right here. You can see it has hydrocarbons, cobalt, atmosp atmospheric gases, all that good stuff. Out here I have one survey probe going to this moon already. The next moon on the list is right here. The uh, the moon 5 right here, 5 1, didn't have anything. I already scanned it. It will pop up with a little pop up menu saying, sorry, there's nothing there. So sad for you, too bad, go find something else. We're going to go over to this 7 1 moon and just click the warp 2. Warp drive and this is the moon analysis page. It is, you can get to it right here. It's quite simple. Um, I, I I am using the Stratios for this specific adventure that I'm going on. Has a lot of good abilities, a lot of probe strength increase for my other probes. I don't have it online right now. But you go through, you get there, you're at you know moon seven one. You need to align to the moon. If you're not aligned, this will not work. Actually, never mind. That's the one I just did. We're going to move on. We're going to do Moon 710. Notice I have this sorted by name. 10 comes after 1 because it's alphabetical by number. 2 is clear down here. As long as you keep track of that, you'll be good. Warp drive. So go along. Just warp over to the next moon in your list. Um, just to make sure you want to launch your probes at something under 5,000 kilometers. Um, they are listed at different flight times for the, the moon scanning probes. I'm currently using the Quest probes. If you come down here and say show info. The survey probe launcher can use Discovery, Gaze, and Quest. Quest is the highest. However, when you look at these, maximum velocity, 3000, that's on all of them. Flight time, they have 1200 seconds. The next down is 600 and then 300 for the Discoveries. The this is kind of screwed up because that means they have a total flax distant of uh, flax wow max distance of three three thousand six hundred kilometers. I've launched them all from forty five hundred, and they've all given me what I needed for results. So something's wrong with that. Doesn't matter as long as you launch under five thousand kilometers, you'll be good. Um, let's see. You get here. And you can see I am not aligned to a moon. Nothing's in front of me. I want to align to it. And I turn on my micro warp. I have to make 50 kilometers. Not that bad. My micro warp puts me at roughly 1,000. Yeah, 1,300. So it'll take me almost a minute. About 48 seconds probably to burn a little bit closer. Um, you can cloak. I don't have the covert ops cloaking. I don't have cloaking for yet. It's training right now. Yay. And other than that, you can put a covert ops cloak and be able to warp around and do all of this from cloak. You can't. You cannot use uh, your probes cloaked. But it is useful if you don't want to be seen. I don't have anyone in local with me. It's not a big deal for me right now. All right, so, you know, so I am now under 5,000. You go ahead and there's nothing, I mean, this is the probe scanner you use for your core probes and combat probes. Not useful for moon mining. You sit here, it doesn't have anything on this thing. All you do is activate it once. You see the little probe fly away, it gets launched. And you're done. That is all you have to do. At this point, do not dock in station, do not disconnect from the game, and do not jump through any stargates. If you do, the connection between your ship and your probe will be lost. All you have to do is stay in, in space, and you will be able to get the report from the moon once the probe lands on the surface. It'll show up like this. Everything's hunky-dory. Here we go. Turn off the micro warp because you don't need any more. And you can turn on your cloak. 
after that you just go through it'll pop up tell you stuff's there it shows up in the moon analysis window and that's really all you need any questions leave them in the comments as always fly safe